chilly and really windy out. Yeah, yes, chilly, windy. Windy rainy. is, today's wind is nothing. This okay, will be, good. <laughs> it's going to be breezy, don't get me wrong, but on Sunday here, it's going to be kind of messy, and that's just part of this messy forecast that we have headed our way. So enjoy, even though it is breezy, a pretty quiet morning here. We'll take it. It's 30 in Burlington, 23 Montpelier, 25 degrees for Rutland, 21 in Messina. Not bad. We're about 5 to 10 degrees above average. Maybe a few flurries flying up towards the northeast kingdom. I think it's pretty dry, so not many of these are reaching the ground. If they are, watch out for some little slick spots. But other than that here, it's just some clouds that will be kind of broken in nature for the first half of the day. Then this system to the south of us is going to lift north, and as it does more of those clouds increase later in the day and this system is what's going to bring us that messy weekend forecast. It's from the south so it's warm, it's moist and it's bringing all of that to our region starting tonight and especially into your Saturday and Sunday. So enjoy the relatively quiet weather that we have today. Yes, breezy, but we're in the mid 30s through lunchtime and then up towards that 40 mark as we head towards 3, 4 o'clock or so. That's also when we'll have more of those clouds. Let's break down that cloud cover increasing and right behind it are those showers, most of which hold off until after dinner time, but the leading edge of those could show up a little bit sooner for some of our southern areas. Those will lift north and you'll find periods of rain overnight. Watch tomorrow morning as those really, really fill out. So a very soggy start to your Saturday. Tomorrow morning, I think, is when it will be the steadiest and heaviest of any of that rain, becoming a little bit more scattered in the afternoon, but still not done. And then right back through the area is more of those showers in the overnight hours. And then a sharp cold front on Sunday morning will turn some of that to snow. It'll also start to taper off by then. I think most of any snow, light snow accumulation will be in the higher terrain throughout your Sunday as that whole system continues to exit. But before it does, we're looking at a nice widespread round of about an inch of rain or so or up to it or near it for most of our area. So again, that's widespread. Plus we have the wind, which is breezy today. Not bad tomorrow at all, but watch these wind gusts, these oranges that you're seeing, especially in the mountains and those eastern slopes, those downslope areas could see gusts over 40 miles per hour on Sunday as that cold front moves through. So something to have in mind in addition to that rain, it's going to be the wind too for the second part of the weekend. Temperatures drop with that cold front on Sunday, warmest air of the day in the morning. Leaves us in the 20s, but at least with some sunshine on Monday and next week gets even colder.